Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description below for all my information. Uh, if you want to support me, I do p uh, premium problems on Patreon. And uh, my Discord's pretty cool, so check that out. Uh, this problem is called distance between bus stops. It's pretty easy, and it looks new. There's not that many votes on it, and I just did it, and it was pretty easy. Um, it's kind of a little bit weird how they word it, and the problem's kind of broken a little bit, but, you know, bear with me here. It's pretty easy. We'll get it done in a second. So bus has n stops, number from 0 to n minus 1, that form a circle. In the examples, they are squares, but whatever. They say it's a circle. We know that the distance between all pairs of neighboring stops, distance i is the distance between number of stops i and i plus 1 modulus n. That seems like useless sentence because you'll see what the problem really is in a second. Uh, the bus goes along both directions, clockwise and counterclockwise. Return the shortest distance between the given start and destination stops. Okay, so we have this distance array. All of these are distances, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, we have a starting index and a destination index. So we want to go from here, this 1 to 2, and we can go clockwise. So we can go 1 to 2, or we can go 4 to 3 to 2. Um, so obviously we're going to go 1 to 2 because the distance from 1 to 2 is just 1 compared to 4 plus 3 plus 2 is 9. Um, and another example down here would be, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going from 0 to uh, position 2 now. So we're going from, you know, 1. We could go 1 to 2 to 3. Or we can go, um, you know, 4 to 3. So basically here's the problem with the logic. I guess, is uh, if you look at these diagrams, you have zero is a one of the spots on these diagrams, and then it does one, two, three, and then it doesn't have four. So they should be putting the four, I think, in here, and then it would have made more sense, but I don't know. It's a little bit confusing with these diagrams. And the other thing is, when you're going counterclockwise, they want you to not count this index. So when you start at zero, you're starting, it goes four to seven. You know, it says seven or three, but when you go from the front clockwise, you count one and two. You know what I mean? So you count one and two to get to two, and you count four and three to get to two from the back. So it's almost like this is the starting index um, when you go counterclockwise. So it's a little bit tricky. You just got to kind of get that in your mind, look through it a little bit before you start. Uh, I'm linking the problem below when you want to check it out. But other than that, it's pretty easy. Um, so here's the strategy. You just make variables for the clockwise distance. It's going to be a sum of distances as we traverse. Um, and then we'll have a total distance sum as well. So, you know, this should be pretty intuitive, but um, we're going to loop through the distance array. So, and to calculate the total sum, I don't know if you guys ever did a sum before, uh, the total distance is just going to be plus equal every distance in the distance array. So this is for sure going to be the total distance, right? And now all we have to do is calculate the clockwise distance. And what we're going to return is the math.min between the clockwise distance and the total distance minus the clockwise distance. Because total distance minus clockwise distance is the counterclockwise distance, right? You know what I mean? It's a half and half. Well, not half and half thing, but, you know, whatever is in clockwise distance has to be counterclockwise, the opposite route, right? Um you know, for example, you know, the clockwise distance is uh, 1, but the sum of all these values is, you know, 4, 7, 9, 10, and then you just do, you know, 10 minus 1, and you would get 9 as the counterclockwise distance, right? It's obvious. So, uh, all we have to do is calculate the clockwise distance, and we're done with this problem. So, there's two, condi there's two conditions we have to account for, right? The starting uh, the starting index doesn't have to be less than the destination, you know. Destination could be index 1, and the starting index could be index 2. So we have to just do two checks. We have to say, okay, well, if starting index is less than destination, that's the more normal one, um, we're going to say, well, then also i has to be greater than or equal to start, and i has to be less than destination for us to count this in the clockwise distance. So if these conditions are all met, we can increment clockwise distance by that distance. 
right? That makes sense, right? So from zero to one, if start is less than destination, so if zero is less than one, that's true, and I is greater than or equal to start, meaning I is at the starting index and it is less than the destination index, so when I is zero, we count that one onto our clockwise distance and that's it and then it would break out and we'd be done. Now here's the other condition. Only other one is the start is greater than the destination. And in that case, like in this case, if let's say the start was three and then we had to go from this two to this three, we would want to account for the I being greater than or equal to the start. So we would want to count, um, you know, the distance from anywhere after the starting point. So if the start was three, we'd want to count this three, this four, and then this one, because that's clockwise to get to this two, right? You go to the right. So from we'd go three, four, and one. So we would want to count things after greater than or equal to the starting points or not and anymore. That's all we had to change is the or I has to also be less than the destination. So, so that we can go to the end of the array. And then when we're at the beginning, we can uh, account for those as well, you know, before. So that's it. That's all the, uh, that's all you got to do. And uh, we can submit that and it passes. Hopefully that made sense. It wasn't too difficult and the problem is pretty much built not really great, um, but it's fine, you know, whatever. We're doing all the problems, so I'm doing them, whatever. Um, let me know what you guys think. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the...